the so-called anode LEDs or anode free batteries, uh, specifically without uh, lithium metal anode, uh, have attracted the attention of the battery community due to the absence of lithium metal layers in the manufacturing process. Lithium metal anode works actually as an additional lithium reservoir to compensate for lithium losses originating from inefficiencies during the electrochemical operation of lithium metal batteries. Hence, uh, if efficiency is considerably improved, the need for an additional lithium source would be eliminated and thus uh, anode -less cells could be assembled and operated during extended cycle life. Uh, well, first of all, uh, the fact that the lithium metal anode is avoided maximizes the gravimetric and volumetric energy density since there is no lithium excess in the cell. Uh, beyond this, uh, since metallic lithium is highly reactive, the lack of excess of this material improves the safety of the material. Additionally, the manufacturing cost would also be dramatically reduced based on the increasingly high price of lithium. And besides, the processing cost would also be reduced since metallic lithium must be processed uh, in a very well controlled, highly dry atmosphere due to its high chemical reactivity also. And finally, the absence of lithium in the anode could potentially facilitate the recycling process, which is a crucial aspect to consider when developing next generation batteries. There is one major challenge to tackle when implementing anodeless batteries, the constant corrosion of lithium during cell operation that leads to irreversible loss of active lithium material. At CSG and Argigune, we are already working on the development of protective coatings, on the formation of stable interfaces and on the on new solid electrolytes that uh, could counteract the negative effects of the absence of lithium metal in the anode.